Welcome to the aftermath of darkness and destruction, hopefully followed by a new dawn. Whereas last, the Festival of the Blazing Sun came to a surprising end involving vampires attacking from the darkness and our heroes bravely defending what amount of people they could. And the vampires appeared out of nowhere for no reason. And the vampires no appeared out of nowhere for no reason, and uh, no one is at fault here. Yes. Before, we, before we tackle the approaching dawn, uh, is there anything point. special that anybody wants to say before we begin? Uh, yeah, I mean, considering we're here for the aftermath, I think people need to know that we're still here, still Diari, still waters are deep. <laughs> Diari? Right, you go. Deep Diari. It was a song. Like you guys, it was a song. Still uh, okay. That's it. How many people actually went down? Like, how many times did I forget? I think we don't need to worry about that. That may or uh, may not come up. <laughs> you just don't want to know how many people you have. Fucking shh. It's fine. The two of you are also cool. Yeah. Then I will inform you that the night is restless. The church is nowhere near equipped to handle all the people that have been packed inside. Uh, What's more, the night is frequently punctuated by shouts in the darkness, people awakening with night terrors, and a general carpet of moans and groans as this big mass of people shift and and attempt to make themselves some facsimile of comfortable wherever they can, which would naturally include you as well. What? Uh, it seems like an eternity before the pale sunlight begins to break through the windows. One of the. So we got longers? I'm sorry. Did we get a long rest during that rest? Or? An uneasy and, and horror-filled long rest. A okay. long rest, nonetheless. Mm. Uh, they should have made it not, not a long slow. rest, but, you know. Oh. Well, um, I explicitly I used all my spells to use, um, people. I, I'm too nice. Also, I, uh, at the start of the night, because I, I had both my spell slots used here, and uh, it was because I recast Penny Servant so that they can stand guard for the eight hours of the long rest, because they last for eight hours. So I can pack them up and grab. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna add to that. You mm-hmm. do get a long rest, but it's not it's not just because. I'm gonna say that packed as it is, the priest, because you helped him, attempts to kind of have the space cleared for your group. It is not much and right. the occasional elbow still infringes upon it, but special care has been taken to make you Mm. Uh, as close to comfortable as you can get in the situation. Good one. At first line, I try to probably be one of the pe- first people to go to the doors and make sure everything's clear outside. At first light, you actually find the people are leaving. Huh. I can have a key point too. There's less crowd in there, people who are being escorted by guards elsewhere. Though, uh, to the seemingly disapproval of other guards. Like, you see there are some guards, like, near windows or whatever, and then, like, some townspeople with some guards, like, pass. Some of the guards, like, near the window kind of, like, frown at them or shift. Like, something, like, they don't approve, but, like, they still go by. You can also hear, like, murmurs here and there about where could possibly be safe now. Only, only two places. Only two places now. Here, or the parents will really take anyone in. I'm not going home. And you might not have to go home. Lady Watcher said that she'll take in anybody that needs to be protected. Yes, right. She and some of the others like her actually have powers to, to, to make your place safer. Well, certainly safer than the bear can, anyway. Is it okay? Are the guards are fine with this. Mm. Not stopping anyone. So if you want to stay here, sure if I want to stay here. Especially since the Baron's on his warpath again. Hmm. I'm gonna 
gonna try and find that uh, guard, by the way, that was pointed out by Strahd to be a. Uh, if that guy is smart, he'll be sorted. fucking yeah. gone. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm seeing if I can see him. You would want to see? You can see him. What are the rest of y'all doing? Probably. Well, I mean, I it was, it was basically impossible. Like it was too. It was too chaotic. Is the Baron still stuck here? out like a? Uh, or did he ever show up? When you awaken and take like a brief look around, you don't see or hear him. Is Victor still here? Mm-hmm. Or I, I guess looking around, do I see anyone I recognize? And by that I mean when I take control of Sakara's perceptions, do I see anyone I recognize still here? Uh, apart from everyone that you travel with, no. Okay. Hmm. All right. Then uh, I will get up. Um, I will gather my uh, tiny servants since they're probably just now starting to become an anime, so I'll, I'll roll them back up in the cloth and put them in. And uh, I guess I will say to the others, How long do what are we going to do? Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. A minute or ten minutes after one. Right. Um, and I will say, so. I think we had planned to leave after the festival, but perhaps you want to it might not be the best idea to leave without knowing where this town stands. Yeah. There are a couple of whispers that you catch about other people saying that maybe it is safe here. Alan's a wizard. Maybe he's just hiding. But he was the, the Baron's guest. Do I hear that? <laughs> guest of honor. You hear a general flavoring after, like, you've cast. There are some people who take into consideration, well, maybe it is safe here. I mean, it's holy. There's There are warriors here. That guy's casting spells. He knows what he... he well, maybe he knows what he's doing. The church is consecrated ground, so the yeah, church is safe. Uh, but if I hear that, I'll say... Uh, if I hear, like, someone whispering, oh, that guy's a wizard, he casts spells, someone say, but he's the sign, I'll be like, he's one of the only people who defended you when the vampires showed up. I would give him a little bit more leeway than his The whispers is. closest to you, like, quiet, and they're like a couple of... There are a couple of... Not young, young girls, like, maybe, like, teenage, they're kind of, like, turn, mm-hmm. and then, like, lower their conversation to, like, inaudible as they are debating. Her ears are everywhere. <laughs> Her ears are everywhere. I have a passive perception of 18. Ears are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'll uh, say to them, yes. Perhaps we should see if at least the Baron what, what? is going to happen. Besides that, uh, I think he left what's his face outside again when the vampires attack. Ludo. Ludo. Oh, uh, yes, we should go see what was happening to him. Yeah. He will need to be tanked. After. But can we just leave him with the bear for those days? Perhaps. He hasn't caused problems so far, but I don't think he's being fed or given water. I don't think he's kind of in We should also probably see the. Oh, how so the estate. Did you? Did you tell him? No. <laughs> did you mention anything about the dude trapped at the. At the in the. In the Baron's house? He's trapped in the closet. I don't think so yet. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, Sigurd, can you mention him? I can mention him. Sigurd doesn't go too far away yeah. from where the rest of his comrades are while he's checking for guards, so, like, you still are hearing part of the conversation, but it's at this point where you finish, like, scanning the guards that are in the room, and while you don't see that guard, you do notice, like, through one of the windows, like, something's going on, like, to the side of the church. Hmm. Hmm. There are a couple uh, guards, and what you think is like the, like the back of the Baron's robe, because it's like the only person that dresses in red around here. Um, but you're not super sure. Let's go. The see problems may on. not be all the problems from the night may not have passed. Hold on. Point that out, Seeger. You were about to say something. Yes. Crack. crack you were about to say something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all the same people. Um. Wait a second. Um. Baron has some guy uh, locked up. Uh, Area and around his room. Um, so he's trapped in the closet. 
Mm-hmm. Just let her fucking go, dude. I know. Take her talk weird. Mm-hmm. Also, there's another problem with the sounds. I know. Trap there. Uh, I'm not so sure he's supposed to should be there. Uh, uh, there's a, do we know this man? Um, he said that he will talk against the barons. Well, out of character, and didn't he realize that the guy was the dude in the socks? Right. Father I, I, of the I, I, I thought that the was the guy said some stuff that indicated that he was okay. the dude in the stocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I left it to you whether or not you like drew that conclusion. I assume all the stocks were empty for the festival. No. Well, was, yeah, well, they, uh, they had moved. He, he was grazing the stock, stock, uh, stocks. So the man you saw before? I don't know. Maybe. It sounds like it could be him because there weren't that many people that were still living in the He's keeping them locked in the closets. It's probably best that we find a way to keep them. He was also starving them and letting them dehydrate in the sun and letting people beat them when they're in the stocks. Perhaps now that we have saved the town, we will be able to convince the Baron to stop this madness. Well, he is right Maybe outside and he seems like he's dealing with something we may have caused Yes. Been a part of yesterday. No, let's go back. I don't say costs. Yeah, he a part of. I didn't say cost. I didn't mean cause. That was a been a part of. You were able to quite easily move outside as people get out of your way, and you even receive a few uh, few nods as you as you leave. When you get outside, you're able to faintly hear it, and then when you get closer, you can hear it more directly. It was you, wasn't it? Just admit it. Your punishment shall be swift, if not more lenient. Please. I... I just... I don't. This is the god uh, who's being attacked. You, rounding the corner, see the Baron, who is aggressively antagonizing uh, the coffin seller who is held by either arm uh, by guards. Huh. What is going on here? He's got the ring. The Baron this turns around. Ah! The heroes of the festival. I am doing my job. Though there are some that believe that I am not. Last night, we received information that this man, and he like point turns and points, and the guy kind of, this man dared to call the Devil Strahd the true master and hailed his coming. What's more? We did hear a guy say that. Out of character, you you did. You did hear that, and at least one of you were close enough to, like, spot, because he, like, bolted out of the crowd prematurely as well. They're like, okay, that's true. Hmm. Furthermore, my most trusted advisor goes missing. My head of security goes missing the night of the festival as well. (laughs) And another one of my guards cracks wise right before the devil himself is given the power to stride in here like never before. These are no coincidences. And he has yet to deny it, yet to defend himself. And I plan to make an example of you as soon as you confess, straight forward with honest words. They'll be the last ones you speak. The two mastiffs that he normally has with him, like, like growl and, like, snap at the guy's haunches as he goes, uh, uh, No, I... I can I cannot. I... Please, I just am so tired. Baron, where do you believe these vampires came from? Why, I don't know. Perhaps I should add that to my list of questions. I, what I mean to say is, I believe this man was being held by them. They would need a place to hide during the day, yes? Held? No, that's impossible. No vampires could have penetrated Valaki before the unwretchedness of last night. Of that, 
I am positive. There's laughter from off camera as a woman's voice says, that would be another false thing that you are positive of. Certainly not the last. Mm -hmm. so a a thin-faced woman wearing noble clothing comes walking towards you. She is flanked by ten guards and twenty townspeople, ranging from Ooh. young to old, though there are no children with her. And these are like normal towns guard. I'm guessing like there's symbols or anything. Or they're a normal town guard, like you've seen, okay. and also normal people. Okay. We thought we were gonna get to go do the Wizards of Wine, but actually, this session is uh, Balaki Three Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to coffee makers. Stuff. <laughs> you should have you stolen it while you were Just go, there. just go oh. right now. Oh yeah, you could. <laughs> His house is at the bed. Did you sneak in there and steal the money? <laughs> oh awesome. Yeah, and the guards are all here. Do yes! You know this? Well, now is the perfect <laughs> time. Just what? sneak away. Do it! Just, just go and rob his house! Right. This what? is technically We'll finally true. be able to get some goddamn treasure in the uh, city! Uh, uh, God. I you may choose... Uh, They're uh, all yeah, distracted! Maybe. They are distracted, yeah. so go ahead and roll it with advantage. Hell yeah! Yes. There are people around. Well, people know their priorities. Get the fuck out of here and go rob this old man! Uh, okay. Yeah, he rolled too. Okay, I didn't see why. Uh, 22. Okay. Fuck yes! Uh, I'm finally gonna get some goddamn Unbeknownst coins. to the rest of the group, you were, you were able to, to slip off. Right. Uh, meanwhile, the, the Baron like whirls around, the, the bastards whirl around, they, they growl and, and gnash their teeth. As he says, you vile woman, this is not a place for you. You should rush back to your sin-filled hovel. Twitchy, call my laughs. And you have stooped to name-calling as well. Mockery does not suit you, as does not leadership. She strides forward a, a little more. There's like ten feet between them now. Like the guards and the people also like step up with her, and like people start, people start either like leaning out windows or coming outside of the church. I'll whisper to whichever ally is closest to the tents. Are out here. Long have your people known that you are ill-equipped to run this town, and yet they have indulged you for nothing has gone wrong. But last night. Something did. One of your foolhardy men dared strike at the rightful ruler of this land, oh. who has done naught but tolerate your foolishness these many years, so long as it did not okay. outwardly affect him. There can be no sparing from the Lord the Bonzarovich's wrath, unless recompense is made. And recompense would likely begin with you. More townspeople, like, start to move out, but also move, like, around the people that are behind her. As the Baron, like, looks and says, this is impossible. This, this, this is, this is madness. Have, have, have you forgotten? Can I say something? <laughs> Like, is, is there, is it possible for Sasha to speak up? Yes, but I will say, anything you say right now will hold extra weight in this, the town of Balaki. What Sasha is going to say is he's going to look at her, because he doesn't like her, and he's going to say, Is she just starting by the way? No. Okay. Since the night fell, we have slain six of Strahd's fanged servants. Do you believe for one second that we fear an old woman and her human guards? Then you have lost your goddamn, goddamned mind. And I am going to try to roll intimidate. Sure. Uh, if I roll intimidate, I mean I got an 18 on intimidate, and she can suck. <laughs> oh, because you're poor. Baron, not uh, huh. she was. Yeah, but you're was. around. Yeah, for the most part, unless it's like an active exchange, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. 
maybe not scare her, but I might scare the guards because it's like, hey, maybe we'll overthrow the Baron, but are we gonna fight the people who killed six vampires? None of the guards happen to be the guy, right? <laughs> the, the one that stabbed him or stabbed at the would it the would the guard who tried to stab Strahd really go to a person who just said Strahd is the rightful I mean, ruler? Sorry, the actually, God. would she? Sorry, I know this is kind of weird. Would have she? Would she? Would she roll something against the intimidate? I was thinking about having her not, but I suppose. <laughs> Well, if she doesn't, that's fine. I was going to say, if she does, though, can I instead change it to instead of having given myself an 18, I'd like to roll a normal and give her a 3 instead on whatever roll she was going to make? Nah. Don't worry about it? Okay. Right. Then I won't worry about it. She is notably taken off guard by your words. It takes a moment. There, there's a momentary pause where the Baron says, Yes! Of course, we have nothing to fear. Not from him and not from the likes of you. And any who should be with you or stand with you stand for a death and eternal destruction. Yeah, it kind of sounds like you're defending them. There are like some murmurs. I'd rather pick him than a straw follower. Sure. I'd, there, there are some I'd murmurs. I'd rather pick someone confident, but as uh, his son. As she then uh, shifts a little bit. It's just... He seems, the son seems uninterested in. Uh, yeah. You the are end. right about one thing that opposition would be messy, and, and, and perhaps I misspoke. Perhaps these travelers who know nothing of our struggles need not fear the devil yet. You believe that you is their the choice. Only, you believe you will be the only people that are affected by him? I believe that they've been affected by the Baron for too long. Long have they been without even the simplest of comforts, such as wine. Each festival has done nothing. And now, the only way to ensure the safety of the common person, whom I have already been aiding in their safety and allowing them to retake their homes would be to have faith in someone who has never failed them before. Now, despite this, the murmuring is a little divided. She she's saying she's, she's never failed this before. Yeah. It's, it's right. I even heard that she's having some people Escorted back to their homes, ensuring that they're safe. I hear that she knows special magic and ties to Strahd, even in their safety. But, uh, but what about uh, the safety of, of others? Do you have to be loyal to the devil to actually receive that safety? You saw how she stopped for a moment when Vistani yelled at her. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the Baron lost her power, but perhaps they do. They're not going to leave this town. Not for for a day. It's likely the ransackers of our riches before long, too. The <laughs> travelers are. Wow. wow. What? They're right! Oh, they we just sent crack right. to we do! We just sent crack to fucking steal. But that's to not steal the coins that were given to him by Strahd. Yeah. Strahd has plenty of people, plenty of them, plenty of travelers who he's killed. They say they go on, on marches regularly in, in the underworld. Um... Baron hmm. says, uh, I have been doing my best. I, I have led countless celebration after countless celebration, but uh, but I see uh, my my folly, and is that I, I I perhaps have neglected the more the more basic needs of the people. My people like start looking at him. And in fact, in fact, not only can I ensure that uh, whatever happened last night will be gotten to the bottom of, and conspirators will be rooted out like festering tumors, people start like kind of shifting their look towards towards the lady again. <laughs> so I, I will also promise that uh, a, a new festival. They like start more, uh, but this festival, this festival will be will be 
Uh, it will be uh, the 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 Widow Wine Wedding, and we we will have a uh, special God, special God. pairing yeah. marriages for those who who who've lost in the, in the last celebration, mm-hmm. and it shall be heralded by 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 more wine than than any of you can drink. I, I know that you like, like that, that. right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was gonna say, do we want to try to bail this guy out, or do no. we want him to let to keep let him keep digging? The <laughs> promise of wine visibly sways ninety percent of the crowd oh, behind her. Is Pluto amongst the crowd at all? Pluto better not be amongst okay. the crowd. You do a quick <laughs> look and you ask. Yeah. Okay, no, because I'm making sure it's not uh, something again. Uh, at your own peril, yes. <laughs> I will say, people, you need not concern yourself with either of these nobles for the moment. You have your lives and you have your homes. Th- uh, it's Father Lucian, right? Yes, I believe so. If you have anyone to thank, it is Father Lucian, for he protected you this night. Now go to your homes and be thankful that you still have them. A squat middle-aged man shouts, But we're worried about later! We're worried about more people dying! The festivals haven't made us safer, but Lady Watcher might! No, there's not democracy. Yeah. Because I right am now, going to say gonna take in democracy to hell. In their own hands. You would entrust your safety to one who professes service to Strahd, who sent vampires tonight out of character. Definitely Strahd who sent them here, and not something I did. I want us all to be on the same page about that. It was we all to be years. on the same page about that. Well, in character, how I will continue summoning something that is just an image immediately draw a vampire. That doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, no, it totally doesn't make any sense. Absolutely, that's not exactly what happened. I am going to continue saying in character. <laughs> no one will put two and two together besides those three lines. Yeah. yeah. I am going to say she would just as likely turn this entire town over to be his blood bag. Just go home. A woman's voice calls. Not all of us! You would willingly sacrifice your fellow townspeople? There is another man, though, it is a younger man's voice. Like cattle. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary, isn't it? What happens when we've been you... killing people who've who've conspired with Strahd? Why that not kill work. a few for our safety? I will... There's uh, another call from uh, the other side. It's just one of the guards that's like holding up the, the coffin cellar. That says, "Would you argue against our excellent mounted defense? That is." Only this once had a failing, but has kept us safe for so long. Grayla will say, no, what happens when it's you not. who have to sacrifice, or your family members, your sisters, or your brothers, or your children? Because since they're saying they're going to sacrifice people or whatever, you know. Does the guy, the guy doesn't say anything? <laughs> Could I get that again? Oh. I'm going to say, what happens when it's your family who has to sacrifice your brothers, your sisters, your children? The guy that before the guard. Who yelled? The guy just kind of grunts and shrugs. However, the murmuring in the crowd is not as divided as you would expect it to be. Mm -hmm. But not 100% on board either. Well, some people have to go. It's not my family. It is our family. Well, how do we know? How do we pick? The parents pretty f- indiscriminate. <laughs> <laughs> maybe watch won't be. Maybe she will. No, I'm going to good. say kind of want distance and I will time. say that's good. You are cons- you concern yourself with the wrong sides here. The Baron, Lady Watcher, they do not matter. And I'm going to point towards the ash, where it's one of the vampires were, if it's still around, and I will say, it is us, and it is them. That is what matters. And it is us, and I will point towards Castle Ravenloft, and it is him. Those are the sides. 
you know that you are preaching to a broken people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but Sasha's <laughs> still going to try anyway. Which is why you may make an attempt to persuade the crowd at disadvantage. <laughs> Otherwise, a side is going to be chosen, and since you've been ping-ponging it, the crowd's going to decide. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't picked a side. We've kind of been going, I want It's like, no, she's bad. I want him. No, he's bad. Come on. They're both bad, though. They're both yeah, bad. No, they're both bad. Also, I didn't ping pong. I said, you guys should follow Father Lucius. Because <laughs> he <laughs> is the only, like, authority figure in here that isn't a complete prick meister. But I guess that counts as ping pong. My bad. I got that wrong. You are crap. Oh, um, could be worse. I'm going to let you that. Come on! 20! Yes! <laughs> yeah, but you're a disadvantage. You're a no, I, I did it on the disadvantage. Oh. I got a 17 and a 9, and I lucky the 9, and I got a 20. What's that total? 20, I don't have anything. <laughs> Still, that's a 20! <laughs> Dude, you expect 20s to solve all your problems? I... A little! <laughs> I do! It makes it more likely. It's a 20 is a good roll! <laughs> I mean, the DC, uh, DC can go up to 30. Yeah, if the DC is 25, then I was fucked regardless. Jeez. I, I don't think any of us would have been able to make that. Yeah, we could have put Greta it 20. Can. Or if anything, this might just drive a wedge more, which will make Greta this take longer. Have so roll a 20 that would be good. To succeed. Someone comes out of the crowd. And that someone is... Is it? Uh, the boy. <laughs> That'd be super cool, but no. Uh, I would be like, shit. Is is the boy that was uh, that was interrogated for the the place of the bones? Oh, uh, yeah, the guy. The he guy steps out. Son. And he says, "He's right. Yeah. Get rid of them both. <laughs> Neither of them will keep us safe." Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Revolution, uh, bitches. Let's uh, do this. He might not pick Lucian. Milo, the kid's in is Milovich, right? I would have to look, but I think so. Dude, okay. Milovich with the clutch. Yeah. Hmm. Townspeople turn, and a fraction of the guards that Lady Watchers with turn, but like the majority of the guards she's with do not. As she like kind of steps well, back and they kind of form up, huh? A form Baron, to protect her. Uh, looks and says, "What treason? Treason! Oh, all I'll, around us! I'll, I'll have you in the stocks, I'll boy!" I'll use thaumaturgy to. <laughs> I'll use thaumaturgy to say the boy is right. Oh, and the Baron will yeah. imprison an innocent child to protect himself. What a coward! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> enough. <laughs> well, has been, this yeah. visibly... oh, it's a rest of both. Fuck well, you. He just did. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, has he done it before? Yeah. Yes. Well. Okay, but he just did. Okay, Saying, and he's willing to threaten a child is is fine. When he just fucking threatened a child <laughs> right in front of everyone. Yeah, that's a rest of both. Fuck Your this. attempt visibly takes the wind out of his sails as one of the guards, like, drops like an arm of of the coffin cellar. And kind of like moves to his side, and the, the masters like move to the front. There are townspeople that like kind of like move like a circular. Oh, so, is it a mission? Sorry, oh. it's him. Would it be a fight? Well, that depends. Well, if Lady Watcher is magic and she has guards, I assume she's gonna fight back. That depends. Lady Watcher and, and the guards stuff, so she casts anything, who, she can eat shit. Lady Watcher and the guards who are around her begin like leaving, but carefully. So. Where are you going? <laughs> you and the Baron are being arrested. Don't fight back. I don't think so. Then I will add another it's serpent not... of straw's head to my pike. And I'm gonna roll initiative. Whoa. I don't uh, give a shit. That's why I said it depends. Because you Sasha can, does not Okay, well, he ain't gonna let her. Yeah. Let's roll initiative. Is a uh, is a baron town town people, look town like he's surrendering people. willingly? Uh, the baron is looking around frantically, frantically as townspeople are closing in to 
But he's yeah, not he, a rebiter. Oh, yeah. Is he going to run? Oh, wait, when? He might not be able to. Yeah, um, that surrounded. depends on when he goes. He has two big ass dogs, though. They're, yeah, maybe we should, we should arrest him. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. let him kill him. Oh, they're getting rid of him. You are making your way back, <laughs> and you hear, like, like, when you get halfway through town, suddenly, like, guards start, like, running by you instead of, like, walking by you with mm. people. Whatever. <sighs> but other than that, you're unobstructed in your path. No. Robbing the you're guy still going. He, oh, he's yeah. going there. Okay. The guy's house is out a little ways. So oh, he's, he's yeah, going to go on for this. He's actually like a little bit out of town. But you, so already, in town, but... but you already knew that. Let me like, sorry, I'm like on the out the fringe. Baron and the two men who dare to stand by him are preparing to uh, retreat. Uh, Lady Watcher is also preparing to withdraw. Crowds, people are preparing to get rid of them, and mm. you are preparing to do as you will. It is Sigurd's turn first. Well, this is clusterfuck. Goddamn, there's not a lot of room. Hmm. So, who do you want to go after? The Baron has the Baron two dogs and two guards. This. Lady Watcher has like. However many guards six are six yeah. guards. But I can AOE them if you want to focus on the bear. I have to. No, I, 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 well, I'm just thinking character. Does Seeger hate the Baron enough to want to be like, no, I will kill him. No. No. He hates a star follower well, more. I hate, I hate the star followers. Too. I'm thinking of more as... Trust me, as much as I would love to match the biggest the threat to townspeople, and where should I go to do the most protection? But I, you might have that covered. I don't hate followers of Shroud. I hate people. However, you answer that question, you will have to answer it quickly. Yeah. Since these two are here, are these two the dogs or guards? Those are the dogs. I forgot about them. And I was told, and I was like, "Well, yeah, that's yeah. that's true." Not that I want to kill Boxer. Yeah. Okay. Well, Robert said it. I can move here, correct? I mean, I can charm him as long as you Yeah, but it's just as Yeah. Good. Okay. Then I will. Yes. Yeah, just... Oh, shit, it's to the side. Uh, I suppose not. Because I have the charm ability. Activate the word rage because this. Eh. But I'll be wrong. This is not going to be clean. Mess is For going one. to happen, and take a swing at the guard because I don't. I am most certain the Baron is not a fighter. He cannot fight. He, can, he can't. He can't. If he has a normal stop walk. He actually can. But we you, wouldn't, necess- you wouldn't necessarily know that. We haven't seen a weapon on him. Maybe. Um, wait. He's not a wizard. All right. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. There's a rage. Take a swing at this guard. People have spoken. Um, I feel like there's too many people to recklessly attack right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Fourteen hit? Oh, wait. I. This damage, yeah. Fourteen. I believe so. Okie dokie. I probably would have one. I can't imagine there's a whole lot of people in the whole lot of people. He's probably the one that has the most armor in the entire town. In this town? Leather armor yeah. is probably pretty easy to make because they have He has studded metal, so. You just maybe in the high box and then you take power to get in the high box. Better be talking about this. Might change it or something. Maybe it's also something like Uh, 12 damage. Fairly certain. For the first attack. So I'm not gonna forget. Not if, if this were older, if this were older editions, I would say. Uh, okay. He is surrounded since he is the first thing I attacked in the turn from raging. So now I'll take a swing at this guy. Okay. No, no, no uh, second attack. Yeah. I'm Thirteen. Yeah. 
Can he hammer it on spice? Can he do it on one spice? Hammer it on spice immediately after hitting with a melee attack oh. as a part of the attack action on your turn as a bonus action. Oh, oh uh, it's not a good one. I'm sorry, that was incorrect. You're less tech than you did not get. Oh, okay. So Holy you can shit. take your this turn differently. If you wish. Um, well, even if you miss, the spirits come up, so I don't know if I can one I have to deal damage. No. Yes. While raging first creature, I hit. Cool. Um, well, unfortunately, 13 to hit for the second attack. Uh, unfortunately, that is a glancing blow as well. Um, damn. Yep, yeah, that's turn. Because I can't hammer the horns in the second. That's a fuck. Yeah. Blood walls. And open. The Baron remarks, Ah! Traitors! I never should have trusted any travelers. Never! And he and his guards retreats. See if they can disengage actions? Oh, he gets an attack of opportunity. They will. They're being turned Oh, they're all, they're all disengaging? Huh, okay. What little pieces. They're trying to attack the Baron. They do not want to fight with you. Isn't the church like near the wall? The church is right there. He drew it. No, no, no. no. Uh, like back here would just be like the wall that surrounds the city. I'm pretty um, sure David knows the surrounding area. What? Well, I'm asking. What wall are you talking about? He, the, the wall, wall that surrounds the city. The city. Yeah. That protects it. What page are on? No. Okay. They start backing off. Is now his mark's turn. Did the dogs stay, or are they just not go yet? Sorry. No, no, I was just there. Like, nobody his mark looks and then looks back and with a face of a pained confusion, he forces his body to move. Attacks one of the guards surrounding Lady Washer. You know, his mark was an RD double leader and Barovia has double leader in this fight. Unfortunately, Unfortunately he, left he does not score a solid blow. Because huh, he felt like he couldn't lead. Yeah, yeah, to protect Arena, but he also he felt a little bit thick, more like he could because he didn't feel like he could lead her. He might feel better trying to leave another town. Well, at least in Valaki, he's not in the shadow of his father and all of a sudden. You know? Something to talk to him about. And we would have to take Gluto anyway. <laughs> That's true. That's kind of stupid. Solving one problem with another. I, you know. Or solving one. Solving two problems. I don't know. Problems. Problems are being solved. Right here, right now. That would be a really, really shitty time for the dog to show up. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Would it? <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. Are you thinking of making a silent image of Strahd right here to make him turn around? No, I'm just saying, like, oh, I thought it's hilarious. It would be if Strahd came down right He'd now. He'd probably wreck the fuck out of us. Yeah, uh, and exactly. Then- he was like, surprise! Everybody dies! Not really, he probably didn't leave Watcher alone. Ah, that's the twist. She's not actually falling. Says she is. She's got bugs. Says she was, so why would you lie about that? Gives you a lot of influence, probably. In the only places. reason I would ever say, like, if I was a character, and uh, the only reason I would ever say I was a follower of Trot is if I was a fucking, like, assassin rogue and I fucking made a persona to be a fucking follower of Trot, and then when I got to the place, I needed to be backstabbed the fuck out of him. But that would be it. And I wouldn't want to do it alone. I want allies. So I'd have to wait until they come. 
front and I'd be like, oh, I'm here right here, man, and I'll fucking fight these people for you. And when they come in, I'll be like, oh, I'm not your back, boss. And they'll be like, St- stab the caster. And stab him. You stab, stab him. him you, you stab him. No, just, just stab him. That's how, that's how you start fighting. You stab him. Lady Watcher, and your guards go. Lady Watcher first casts a spell. Okay. Kind of spell. If it's level third or lower, it works out better. She takes sinisterly in Sasha's direction. Does Sasha? Okay. Question first: Is it possible to roll on how to determine what spell she is casting? I don't see why not. I will first roll on how. I got a twenty-six. On my arcana check. Uh, she's attempting to paralyze you. Oh, <laughs> <the first> person. <laughs> Definitely cast the charm spell on her. Because at the second level, it works with no check. Because counter spell automatically counter spells level 3 or lower. It does take my reaction. And one of my third level spell slots. It itself is level 3. Yeah, but not being paralyzed. Uh, but not getting oh, paralyzed. Oh, yeah. The trade off. <laughs> Despite her best efforts, her sinister spell is counter. Manus potentis paro, and I will literally unmake her spell if she leaves it. Apologies. Her spell is unmade. Her efforts undone. And I will say, if that is the best of your tricks your master has taught you, you might wish to find a new teacher. You're gonna try. You're gonna try spell cook his student when he spell cooked you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he never, he never canceled any of your spells. This, that's just I, me. I, I think you should just be the bigger man and fireball also, in the face. Bigger man. Also, <laughs> also fucking thank you, Irina. If she did not take, tell me to pick counter spell, I would not have it. Oh, wow. No, you were thinking of something else. Yeah, I was thinking of taking fly. Oh. Thanks, Irina. How fortuitous. And I'm going to tell her in character that. Later? Yeah. <laughs> she totally saved our asses. Huh. Well, me. I don't know, maybe she maybe you can upcast the whole person of all people? Yeah, you totally can. For each spell slot you use above once. Could I tell if she was upcasting it, by the way? If I can't tell that with our comment, that's fine. I was just curious. Uh damn, you're not sure. Well, you're, you're in the in the middle of a moment. I'm definitely gonna assume she upcasted it at some of level. It was about to paralyze all of us, and I heroically saved it. Don't you got the roll? Okay, then fine. Yeah. Third level. That's will be my assumption. But I say to me and someone else, probably me and this one. I'd say you and Grayla, probably. This one's right up in the guy's face. You're not as big as Grayla. Where are you talking about? I would say by definition, this one is bigger than Grayla. I mean, because of armor. You both still wear I also, yeah, we both wear armor, but my strength score is like seven. He's bigger than me. Yeah, she's like light. Huh. Well, I, you see, for some reason, whenever I think of cleric, I'm always thinking of somebody like, not in full plate, but like almost. The only, the only set I need is wisdom. Although constitution I'm, helps. I will get rid of this board as soon as I can, but for the moment. That's just fine. That's very just, very soon the Baron will make it. That is why we got whether or not uh, whether or not people catch up with him, however, that uh, yeah, different. Or alternatively, somebody snipes him and then he just dies. Who knows? They went to a certain distance. Arrows just. <laughs> she and her guards. No, he gets come by where Raven too. <laughs> What's up, bitch? I thought you could get away. You can't get away. We can fly. Bow. It's just like a super gangster were-raven who talks some bad shit. I'm sure that's not what's going on, but it'd be really funny if it was. Oh, did the massive townspeople from here, like, just start rushing this? No, the, the townspeople are on the side. They were moved. The yeah, they're here. Oh, okay. And they haven't gone yet. But there is a mob that's like, we, we're still here. We want some action. Stab them, Mario. He just left your square. Okay. Uh, I used my reaction oh, yeah, to cast yeah, counter spell. Yeah. So you said they're all disengaging. The guards at the very Although, least. Ismark could have made an attack of opportunity if he wanted to. They're all disengaging. 
the guards oh, are just engaging. Okay, mind, sorry. Uh, she just moves, but she yeah. right, but she was she is trying to cast old person. What you were trying to cast it if you had it. Unfortunately, an Iresome I kiss can't... is the if best that she to. can muster in that exchange. Clearly, I should just do it right back to her and be like, <laughs> go <in> somewhere. <laughs> It then becomes Grayla's turn. Because then. What kind of PC? Uh, I'm gonna have access to it. It's just like all the spell, right? Uh, let's see. I probably didn't prepare. I prepared. Don't worry about it. I just think it'd be fun if we did it back to Um, uh, Grayla will. Um, uh, Grayla casts Spike Growth around the noble and all her guards centered on the noble. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> and as her bonus Action. What big spike again? Huh? What big spike again? It's like 22. That's it. Yeah, yeah, 24 radius. So it should, it, it definitely includes all of them. Oh wow. And a little bit. Just barely doesn't well. reach us, huh? I don't want to affect it. If the mob runs into it, I will feel bad. But I don't think they'd be that dumb, but... They will actually... They entirely could because the ca- transformation of the ground is camouflage to look natural. Any creature that can't see the area that's under the spell it's cast must make. Oh, well, as long as they're looking, they know it's fucking spiky. See, the way that they measure their spells is. Yeah. Oh, I got corrupted on it like one time too, but it's okay. Yeah, it keeps throwing me off because radius. We're just saying half the range, range, half the circumference of a circle. Um, I'll it's use like, my bonus action to cast a layering on my cover, I guess. Take my cast another active spell. Uh, and you magically trap the ground and then enhance your own. And that will be the end of it. Uh, I will move. Hmm. I don't know which group to pursue. I feel you're, like you're going after them already. Yeah. And I assume you're trying to deal with her because she's a spellcaster. I think me and this mark can deal with her. Also, so somebody's not just. Uh, has it, has everyone not gotten injured? No. Okay. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. All right. You, uh, you, can, you can you can back up. Uh, I'll go I'll go towards center. the Baron then. Just keep concentrating on Spike Growth. So how far? Then. Is 30 feet. Okay. What's he Uh. Let's see. Well, just as close as I can be in a straight line. So it's just 30 feet this way. Is your fly thing just for a movement or is it for a duration? It's for a duration of a minute. Ah. And uh, I do actually dance. Mm. Yeah, so you blow your eyes on it. Yeah. This crowd walkers. Don't kill yourself on the spike. Just on the <laughs> I mean, I'll technically get a bunch of candy, but I don't want the candy. <laughs> I want them to not kill themselves on the spike. No. This one was an old lady. This to one. Think, <laughs> is... Trying to think if the Baron's distance would deter them that much. Compared to a spike throw? I'm not sure. So I'm going to split the difference. They're murderers. Well, they're freaking really angry. They won't really stop well, the other ones are also potential. They're, they're angry at both of them. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm saying and then them. Are they wielding anything? Or are they just... Well, I kind of wish we could just let them but 
law of justice where you can yes. stop that one. Yeah. No. They have some of them have like stakes or, or whatever. I mean technically Kendra or you could cast calm emotion on the mob after like bef- when they get subdued but before they're killed, Kendra would be like, Oh calm emotion. Everybody fucking well, Kendra also happened. could have talked people down yeah, with that's a true. positive fucking persuasion score and the ability to increase it. Yeah, that's true. No, but see, that logic, it, it reminds me of uh, the part of the common poetry for uh, Batman. One guy getting beat up by psychos that he was their therapist for, so he was just abusing them. Psychos start beating him up. Then he's thinking, if I let them beat him up, they'll kill him within 10 seconds. I let them beat him up for eight. <laughs> 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 then takes them out. Uh, I am pretty sure your nature was pretty cool. That is more reasonable than I expected Batman to be at. Really. He's not a fucking psychopath. He's not a psychopath. Well, yeah. I guess he can double the ball. Well, a number of them swarm around the side of the the Baron and his retreating party. Uh, only a few of them get to go. They fall upon first thing within reach. One of the Baron's dogs, striking oh. with crude clubs. In, well, okay, it's three of them, so like a crude club and a rock and bang. So, <laughs> they oh, they got upgraded one. He's a bag. Jesus, yeah. no, that guy's pretty swole. He's swinging a bag of rocks. That guy with something, and they fucking wreck. But so he has one more. And they got it. They're also like feet tall. Yeah. So there's that. If these were all, if all these villages were Goliaths with bags of rocks, I'd be like, alright. Is that a bag of rocks? I thought it was a bag of bodies. Yeah, yeah, I assume it's like a kidnapped person. Yeah, but still. The Mastiff is quickly injured. While it is holding up, it does sustain some, some bruises and, and some bleeding cuts. Yeah, yeah at least one of his dogs is probably going to die. I would go they're gonna defend their master, even unless I charm them. And even if I do, that doesn't mean the villagers will not fucking attack me. Well, you can cast a little friendship of casting between them and get the men that they're one away. That's it true. is now Sasha's turn. Bold. Ah! Right. I am going to cast Dragon's Breath, even from the Sahar in the cold frame. And then I will say. And as I say that, I'm going to say, going somewhere, and I will, be and Sakaar will breathe uh, twin cones of ice over them. They each have to make a DC 15. 16, sorry, dexterity saving throw, they need to make two. Okay. Or take. Maybe two of them in one. That doesn't affect the spell Just spell the uh, It's still useful if I could get one, but. Because uh, it allows your spells to ignore half cover. Yeah, which is kind of useful. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to double check something, but uh, in the meantime, it doesn't affect this. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is she trying to counter spell? Because I still have another slot. I can counter spell and counter spell. Can you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking magic in this group, yep. is that? What the hell? Well, I fully really expect group? part of the fight with Straw is gonna be us countering each other's counters. Which is gonna what, be. Can- I assume he has counter spell. If he does. Can you do that? Can you counter a counter that's countering your counter? No, because you only have one reaction. Okay. I'll oh, you should look reaction. it up. Okay. <laughs> get up yeah, under the most of your reaction. Fucking... So, is, is it common weapons to literally get all of them? Sorry, I'll actually be here. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll wait. Unfortunately, that first one only does six. I went really bad on the damage. Uh, but so three if they uh, if they make their same six if they fail. However, uh, Sahar's coming. Deals. <laughs> much better. Uh, 14. Half it's, it's the. It's the yeah, mine was just really bad. It's the be, being able to fly can get into a better position. I guess it is. Yeah. But yeah. Up to. If they fail Booker Sims, they take 20 cold damage. 
Both Sorry. Sasha and Sahar. Drench. Nay. Wreath. Guards and Lady Watcher in Savage Ice. And despite the fact that some of them are dexterous to make some of their saves some of the time, none of them are dexterous enough to make all of the save all of the time. And as a result, the entire retinue of guards perishes, and a very frigid and shivering Lady Watcher down and not quite out, but getting there. Oh, so she moves. Remains. She might. She Let's might go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're all dead, aren't they? Because it's yeah. magic. Yeah, they're dead. It's magic, right? Like, they serve strong. I will feel only very small guilt for this. I'll take this one. This one. I thought you were just going to start pulling out all the pinks, just like. This one. This one. This one. They're actually. Much as I did love that one of the tent sessions in a where I didn't get any candy. We don't have to do that. So well, yeah, should not. They should eat six starbursts. More of the crowd that goes. Uh, my correction is actually that uh, Mastiffs have less health than I thought. Oh, who's dead? Oh, that it was killed. Bummer. <coughs> do they not have a lot? No, they don't. No, they do not. They're just a, they're like a big dog with a short dog. I um, thought that they were a little bit hardier, and the book was like, yeah. nah, man. <laughs> it's dead. Because you can buy, you can <laughs> buy masters, like, people, some people buy, or masters, yeah. Some people buy a bunch of masters and just swarm them at enemies. Like, that one that had an uh, animal companion, but don't want to play these massive rangers. Uh, dude, I would absolutely swarm them. I would absolutely swarm uh, 10 servants for people. <laughs> Actually, something you guys can do at level 9 that'll be pretty degenerate is uh, Sid gets access to a spell called, I think it's the level, Crusader's Rifle. Yeah. There's everything within 30 feet of them will be for radiant damage on all like hit paths. So if you cast two things of animated servants or of 10 servants, I think I would six that servants. Point. I think I would be able to attack them. They all deal 1d4 plus 3 damage, plus 1d4 radiant. For some reason, if someone does animate objects, yeah. it sucks that none of you are paladin, because if you were, Sasha would combo great with Crusaders. More oh, okay. villagers march forward. <laughs> However, only one of them is able to get in range of one of the dogs. And while they're able to connect with a savage blow with a little, what appears to be handmade club that savagely wraps against the side of the Mastiff's head, it stands again, one of its eyes drooping, its jaw like somewhat off kilter, but growling nonetheless. It stays for now. This is such a to be on this thing. <laughs> I think the dog will die. I thought that was names. No, those are names. I don't even know if the dog might be good. Uh, that's an that's what I've only heard. I've only heard. I've heard of, can you pet the dog? Yeah, I've heard of that. But I only heard about, does the dog die? Because... Fuck it, the dog. I was like, I didn't even know there was a cycle that much of a chat. Oh, this is more of a... The one I think of is like, Twitter? Yeah. Can you have but, the but, dog? But there's, but there's a website that goes the dog guy in the second movie. Huh. Yeah, it's like Jill. It also lists Jill. See, that one's kind of good. With a tortured look so that one. matches her brother, Irina advances and then takes the dodge action. It then becomes Sigurdur's turn once more. Okay. I have 40 movement. Does that mean I can get here? Because you can't have counted. 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, you can't move through them because they're enemies. Dude. So, mm. I guess no. Okay. 
I was just wondering because like I was trying to remember if the rule was moving through an occupied space counts as two. I wasn't sure if it also counted for allies. You can't move through an empty space if it's occupied. Fair. And I shall move here. And man, you know, I actually kind of wish I had a bag of pop drops. I considered it. Well, because then I can just throw it behind them. Um, and take uh, two swings of that guy. You're not gonna attack him, Perry. You can just knock him unconscious. His you guards. Cost, if you take him out, the guards might just give up. Yeah, they, they don't need to die. Swing at him first and then the Baron. Just kill. Or okay. Because I do not expect the Baron to be able to. They're not gonna attack. I, I think getting your finger on people isn't gonna matter. They're just one. 18 for the first one. That is it. 17 for the second. That is also it. Oh, okay. Oh, not yet. Match and die. Not match and die. First attack did 11. And second did 15 to the Baron. Um, I will then use Hammering Horns. Your first attack downs the guard. Are you killing him or just fine? Because uh, you get the choice. I'm right? putting him down. I'm not killing him. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fucking Baron. Well, let's see if the Baron's still up. How much, much, how much damage was it for the Baron? Uh, yeah, that was 15. You have your rage. You I have rage. quite succinctly separate a portion of his clavicle and his head from his oh, shoulders. Let's put him down, not killing him. If I'm not trying to kill either of them, let's see. Because if it's justice that people want, they should get it. <laughs> well, it's because we're arresting. <laughs> we're arresting them. Uh, okay, that is not what you made it sound like. You made it sound like, I'm gonna leave my life so that the villagers can rip him apart. And I was like, <laughs> No, 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 no. The villagers will kill him. Kill him. As I said him. before, they are here for blood. They might be more merciful if you just kill him. Because if you chop his head off, at least he dies yeah. back. You should chop his head off. Now, <laughs> if you don't think the bear should die, then it will be to you to ensure that that happens. If you don't want him to die, knock him unconscious, stand over him, because I'm pretty sure if, he, if he's out of the fight, he will not... He was a leader, him. seeing what he's actually done to his people. No, nah, I probably would. Seeing what he's actually done to his people. I mean, he's he is, he is killing them. He, he is actively killing them, like, with all the stuff he is doing. He's not having much help. Um... Well, then hammering horns. Attempt to hammering horns the last guard, which doesn't do damage, but they'll knock them. Uh, ten feet. Why? Is explicitly away? I mean, it's not supposed to be. But if you kill a parent, I think it's just a point. One more trying to just do it to knock him on his feet. Um, and the. Uh, As. His, uh, yeah. As his leader falls gurgling to his knees, he attempts to steal himself, but does not, as he is knocked. Hammered, if you will. Um, is that knocks prone, you said? Um, is that the it is shove with horns, pushed ten feet, but not from something else, but knock him down. Um, yeah, no, I just shove him ten feet this direction. Okay. This, the Baron and his men, or rather, what remains of the Baron and his men, is her. The cockeyed mastiff bites at Sigurd's haunch. 
The guard that was hammered attempts to secure his own safety and retreats, uh, which I believe will grant, in addition to a couple of townspeople, no, three of them, uh, tax of opportunity, but will also you. He is more than concerned, more than frightened for his life. The time for steel nerves is over. I will resolve mass attack first. Second, yeah, it's first. Oh, dude, just want to kill the guys too. Jesus. The mobs aren't easily um, quelled sometimes. They get torn up. I mean, yeah. To be fair, it's also like. So I know this is gonna sound weird, but it seems barbaric and fucked up to us. But these people have been living under the Baron for a long time. Yeah. He's probably done so much worse shit that we have never seen. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, like, the you know, it seems like, oh, they just so turned they around and killed guards. him. No, no, no. Uh, they're killing these guards. It's so monstrous. But we've only seen a little bit of it. You, it's, it's, it's harder to judge these people for wanting him dead when they've suffered under him for a long time. I kind of get it. It snaps, but it does not find purchase. The guard then attempts to break forward. You know, I, in the same way, I wouldn't judge people who, like, murder a dictator either. I get it. It's definitely not my place to do It is not our people. We have not been there. Yeah. Welcome to the land of Barovia. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. This place kind of sucks. What is <laughs> Barovia? A uh, 18 to hit, which I'm led to believe hits. Yes. But there's another townsperson that's <laughs> also capable of hitting as well. In that a couple of them swing out, but do make it. Uh, that is, if I am doing my maths correctly, uh, 12. He attempts to break for it, but is unsuccessful. As you either non-lethally or lethally cut him down. I, d- I did it to the other guard. He might also sort of... Simultaneously, there around. are a couple of other townspeople that, like, la- lash out with, like, foot and kick, but miss, and one that has uh, what appears to be a fire poker and swings and actually manages to catch him in the side of the head as he retreats. In addition to... Yeah, that shit. Those things fuck people up. One way or another, he... He's ended. Now it becomes Ismark's turn. He moves. I'll stop concentrating on this fight. You can't do it. Oh, he moves. He and his sister exchange uh, looks, and he nods and places a hand on his shoulder. And then he. Uh, takes the dodge action, because he doesn't want to run into spikes anymore. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, we should have assaulted those crossbows. We couldn't get them to tell them. See, I thought they had some. Yeah, we should try to get them to the bugs or something. I am assuming there will be some spare stuff I can bring the dodge this way. Do we want to take the garbage equipment instead of leaving it for the city? We take some of it. I'd say the city owes us, regardless. We saved it for vampires. <laughs> we're also going to get the city back with wine. Yeah, we're going to install the leader. Yeah, because we. I would not be able to leave almost here. Uh, maybe Lucian would help with something else. Yeah. Maybe Lucian and the. The. The only other. We haven't even the seen this man. The only other, like, with, like, reasonable NPC we met this entire time is the innkeeper. And I don't think the innkeeper wants to lead a town. 
I mean, he knows the people in the town. Yeah, why not? He knows people. Yeah, what? she was a bartender before she moved to the center. If we get the wine back, too, it's not like... It's true. It, it, it's not like... A, I mean, his business will improve when he gets wine back, but also it will make he, it will make a transition to A frigid, shivering lady watcher attempts one more once more, cast a spell. Roll a card. Uh, I got a 13. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom save. Uh, I'm rolling our comments as almost spell. It's not less. Did you prepare a counter spell multiple times? You don't have to. I, I, I have another third level spell slot, so I can counter spell. We use a lot of I'm trying to see what the spell is. Like I did last time. <laughs> so you do have a yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, but what I'm saying is you don't prepare spells multiple times. That's not what you do five. Now you just have spells prepared and you have spell slots. And I do have another spell slot. I can cast counter spell. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, she's attempting to command you. Okay. <laughs> also made evident by the fact that she's going to say something. I thought she only had one use of counter spell. No. And so I was going to resolve this first. If. If someone prepared cure wounds, they can use it on any slots they have now. Um, I am going to. I will not counter spell it because I'm confident that I can resist her uh, save. Her her feminine wiles. Her command. Mm-hmm. It's not her command. Uh, I got an 18. She points upon Sasha and says, I demand you leave. This birthright of the devil. Well, I, I'm just not going to do it. When it's my turn, <laughs> I'll respond. You start moving. Huh? No. Did you just be a dick? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jake. Jake. No. I have a legit response. But I'm going to wait till my turn. It then becomes Grayless' turn. Uh, I'll stop concentrating on the spikes. Okay. All the guards here are, oh. and the dog are, are gone, right? Well, uh, the dog still remains. The, the, the dog, dog remains? Yes. Um, <laughs> that double yeah. friendship and it just make her run. It's, all it's, right. it's got the cocked jaw and I like the to, down but eye. I'm afraid if I do, that, it, that someone will attack my opportunity and beat it to death. How it disengage? Oh uh, yeah. All right. Animal friendship then uh, is what I'm doing. Okay. And are mastiffs medium creatures or are they small? It makes a wisdom saving throw against sixteen. If it makes it, then it's not charmed. But the only reason I'm asking is because there's something that to be two size categories difference to occupy the same space. It doesn't matter. If it's medium or small, it's. it's it, you cannot be by the same space. Grayla attempts to befriend the creature through spell. It does not work. Oh, oh no, the dog is dead. The dog's gonna die. Grayla will turn it away sucks. and head the other direction because she doesn't want to see it. How far? As. Far as I can, because the dog is the only thing on the side that concerns me more. But that noble lady is still alive. So. And I she's assume a Sigur can handle himself. Likely so. The Space screen goes so. black, and Sigur dies. I should erase it, and I will time. Okay. For a record, you said you stopped, and uh, so it does fall. Okay. I just want you to know so that his marking on you will have to stand there. Hey, maybe fucking people just start throwing rocks. <laughs> okay. Sure. I curiosity, what the dog roll? Seventeen. Well, actually, I didn't look at the modifier because it was seventeen base. Oh, um, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't have a negative trust, so it made it go well, figure. Good. That was a minus two. 
Oh, well, admittedly, I didn't think of a negative, so... Perhaps I, I will retcon this at a moment. I usually don't have wisdom negatives, so yeah, it's, it's actually a plus one. It actually has a plus one, so... Okay. Yeah. Damn! So, you know, it, it was a safe idea. You, they usually don't. I'm just saying it's technically really possible. It's just, like, for, uh... Uh, they don't want to close it. Oh, if I had thought about it, maybe I would have left the spice up just to keep the villagers from killing themselves on here, but... Well, she's a caster. She probably doesn't have to melee. She can know. thunder wave them. That's true. That'll I'll kill so a shit ton of them. Gre <laughs> Grela is a caster, but Grela could definitely kill a fucking peasant with one blow. Well, yeah. And Grela's a full caster. It's not like she fucking gets multiple attacks or some shit. The crowd moves in. However, uh, they can't cover enough distance to attack this turn. Which then makes it Sasha's turn. Sasha's gonna move in enough that it's as possible to her, but not the crowd. And he is going to say before he hits a hard measure on the ice blast. This isn't his land anymore! And blast, uh... Is, oh, Jesus, I'm just going to take the lower one because I wasn't supposed to roll this mm -hmm. two. Okay. Uh, Sasha did seven because he's just sucking it up with these damage rolls. And uh, I was so hard to do better. Uh, seven, he already had yeah, nine. So I did seven because I had nine. She just made two deck saves and six. That's like three sessions in a row where she's rolled one first thing. You want breath attack? Yeah, she, uh, she's uh, like She that does not succeed on her first. And that is all it takes as her skin becomes dried and cracked and icy and flakes and ultimately is destroyed. She falls in a crinkly heap. You know, the family are going to be, people aren't going to be very happy with Yeah, this. the watcher children. <laughs> Neat, well, we just killed Victor's dad. Victor isn't, it doesn't really like his dad, but doesn't mean we'll be happy that we murdered his father. Eh, if anything, he may not hate you guys. There He'll is probably hate me. a no, momentary a pause as the crap. Oh. No, actually, there's not a momentary pause. Um, I mean, there's. Run, doggo! <laughs> there's the dog, but. It is at this point that more guards join the fray. Really, it is difficult to assess exactly whose side they're on because they quickly move towards the villagers in an attempt to start dispersing them with spears half out instead of point out. Now they're just playing damage control. As they pour in, uh, the Mastiff is lost track of you and you. The group is left more to their own devices as they give them a wide berth. Not sure what has happened, only certain that something must be done. And that is where I'm going to pause for about a moment. And we return. Things happen quite quickly after that, in that despite the few rebel guards that like you, you put down, the large, it seems the majority of the guards in town hold no allegiance, so they don't pay any special attention to the fallen uh, lady, other than, like, real quick. They are more concerned about the Baron. They are confused about what happened. There are cries from townspeople for justice and uh, metaphorical spitting and perhaps literal spitting on the corpses of either side. Ultimately, it results in people being herded as best they can towards their homes. And you five being forced out of town. What? I'm going to force out of town. Are you willing to kill your way through the guards? Well, I'm willing to... The people don't back us up because they fucking... Everyone was basically in agreement to kill, like, to kill these guys. 
the people don't back you up so much as they're shouting that there's still work left to be done. You know. The Baron still has surviving heirs, and where is his wife? Someone pitches in, the Watcher, there are the Watcher twins, where are they? And in the chaos, there's a moment where a decision is made by the guards, okay, everybody needs to leave, everybody needs to go. And it is made clear that they are not sure exactly what your hand is in this, which is why you're not going to be arrested and why they will permit you to keep weapons, but they do force you out of town because whatever happened, happened around you guys. You're the Baron's guests, but Baron's dead. You're Lady Watcher's enemy, but Watcher's dead. And everybody else is just kind of bloodlusting. Yeah, when all power leaves the city, militia takes over. And will kind of boot any squatters that they have. Uh, I don't know about that. This... We're not we literally really. saved the town from vampires. I think we'd have some, some more goodwill than that. No one speaks up for us? Well, it's not that they don't speak up we for you. We are literally the only it's people that who saved them all from dying they're busy, from strong. They're busy saying, hey... There are more nobles to be killed. And the guy's like, okay. Well, yeah, but if we have a chance to stop them? I think that's... The, the whole town? Should. No. I like, it should. starts here, but it starts spreading. I, th I think that's what the militia And as a measure to, to try and calm shit down, they do their best to, like, herd people back to their homes and herd you out. Right, but we can save the remaining people. There's no way for us to talk our way. Not currently. Mm. However, perhaps by luck or by his own sneakiness, Crack is able to join back up with the rest of the group. Maybe thirty silver and twelve electrium. Richard, wasn't the bag a lot more than that? I thought he had like a shit ton of money. Mm. Well, comparatively, he was I looked it back up. I Maybe we might be able to gain something if we deal with the wizard of well, Since that seems to be a problem for the town. Remember, most of the town was like, when the Baron mentioned, and hey, it will provide wine. 90% of the population was like, I like wine. Yes. Um, we can just wait outside for the little turn on. I don't know how long it'll take though, actually. It's probably take a lot. We might we'll probably as well take go months to, so. or weeks. I mean, you could. Yeah, let's do the Wizards of Iron Ring one and then come back. I mean, we're gonna, one way or the other, we're gonna have to get back into the town. I still need to talk to Natalia and Victor, and we need to uh, deliver the wine to the thing. So, yeah, I guess we'll go do that and then come back. And Yeah, if they don't let me, I'll just come out alone, I guess. <laughs> but that's another time. Killing technically innocent people? Those aren't innocent. Why are they not? Well, either they served Lady Watcher, who served Strahd, or they served, uh... They don't serve Lady the Watcher. They don't serve the town. Well... You'll have time to assess whether or not that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I think just doing my not jobs are what Nazi said, and I don't buy that for a fucking second. Well, yeah. But that's if they don't let us in. If they let us in, then whatever. They're just going to leave that guy in the closet? Uh, I guess. Yeah, well, that's part of my problem, is that we still have stuff we have to do, but we fucking can't. We can tell, pe tell people the shit that the bear has in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. well... You cracked did tell us. They don't have any reason to leave those people locked up anymore, honestly. Exactly, that's why we could just tell them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in fact, yeah, just mentioning that we don't know what closet in the town. But, yeah. He knows exactly what closet in the town. Well, I'll tell him, and I told the, you guys. The closest guard that, like, is hurting that you say that to kind of stops for a minute. Will be dealt with. Her 
preferably before they starve to death or dehydrate. He seems a little more, a little overwhelmed. He's uh, not, he's not uh, sure how to take that. Does anyone try to push me? Well, no. They have, like, stuff. Unless you, like, refuse to be moved, then yes. Well, I'm just saying, if you. anyone lays a hand on me, I'm going to stare them right in the eye and tell them that the next person lays a hand on me. Well, if you don't move when, like, they are hurting. I'm just, I'm just saying. Also, I but if any of them physically touch me or threaten me, then I am not going to take that from a fucking guard. Also, my character, I'm pretty sure, did say that the closet was near the Baron's room. Yeah, he did. Ah, so he explicitly yes. told us where it was. Okay. Well, you can add that or you can not. Yeah, if one of us had off herself, we just disguise himself off. Man, had a disguise would be so nice. I do have all. Uh, well, you could get back in if you wanted. They might be locking the town down. Mm. Well, if I really wanted to get in, they're more the occupied with just the people. Well. If you fucking, they're not like locking down because they can't. Like the town is is doing a bunch of stuff, and there are only so many. Whatever. Let's just go do the next thing we're going to do anyway. Do they sort it out, or we'll come back and everyone will be dead. Alright. So the Wizard of Wine rule, I guess? Uh, unless you had something else to you, uh... There's that shrine that the elf guy mentioned to us, but I felt like that would take No, we're not doing that. Yeah. Right now, I mean, like... And basically, that would be farther. But he seemed fairly eager to go, regardless. We don't know. We don't wait a few days, days anyway. We don't wait a few days anyway. I told him to wait a week. Before hearing back from us. And it's been two days. <laughs> what an eventful two days. Mm. But it doesn't matter anyway. We need a cold letter to go there and we didn't get it. Because he said he specifically wasn't going to hand over the ring of warmth because it's freezing up there and he'll freeze to death without it. So logically, well, he, he needs a magic ring in order to get up there. We're going to need cold letters. I thought he also said he had some sentimental value to it. He no. said he would give it to us after. He said he'd give it to us after, but he needs it because up there is frigidly cold. Mm. And he doesn't have the kind of gear he would need to survive. So, the implication being that we would need some of the gear. And since Indoor Elements isn't a spell anymore, we'll actually need cold weather gear. Well, uh, here's some magical snow boots. That Boots in the winter lanes. Yes. What do you think is more likely a fucking us to find cold weather gear or magic boots? Six pairs of boots in the winter lanes. Somehow, I don't think it's the second one. Yeah. Before we head out, I'm going to cast my tiny servants. All right. In case we're ambushed. Well, actually, how far away is. Um, is the Wizards of Wine winery? Uh, decently far. You could probably reach it. I forget the estimate I gave. I'm pretty sure that you can reach it like towards the end of the day. Okay. Or you'll be traveling I, for. I need an hour amount because it lasts for eight hours. So if the trip will take longer than eight hours, I'm not going to burn my spell slot on it. Because I might need it once we get there. It is going to take longer than eight hours. Okay, then I won't use my spell slot. I assume they'll give us our horses. If we tell them about the horses and such. When you raise a concern about your horses, you are ignored. However, your horses are mysteriously waiting for you when you are out of town. Mm. Hello, Ricardia. Including that big fucking... Maybe not. No. Grandma's horse. Is it source? Grandma's horse. Well, I was just saying because he said I said. Yeah. Oh, it's like, because it is. Uh, including every horse that you guys, you guys owned is out there. 
Which means you all have a horse, or no? No, we still have horses, but yeah. you have a lot. So, um, the smallest person should go with big McLarge huge over here. <gasps> I would assume that's Grandma. Then where am I? Um, okay, then Crack, you go with big McLarge huge. I'll go with Grayla and Ismark can go with Irina because I'm sure Ismark will. <laughs> we try to do it the other way. <laughs> He's worried about his sister. Yeah, he is, yeah. A little too worried about his sister. Let be. Let him ride bitch on the horse. So. I'm gonna make a terrible time playing with something. Uh, apologies. Can we take a short rest along the road? Like while riding, or is that not possible? Um, I'm not driving the camp once, I just want to get my spell slots back. Yeah, I have. There will be enough time, but something happens first. Hmm. Okay. Boys is, is what I was looking for. And that along, along your path, Maybe, maybe it's like super close to when you have just left. Several, uh, several men have naked, covered in nothing but mud and like loose scrawlings upon their bodies, wielding uh, swords and axes, come leaping from the bushes, screaming and flailing. Well, that was <laughs> wild men. Barbarians. <laughs> The old versions of, of this adventure had like wild barbarian clans. Who, um, I don't know if they're the same one, but actually, Strahd became famous when he was mortal for waging a war against barbarian clans that originally inhabited this place. Huh. And uh, in fact, in the very old versions of the module, Castle Ravenloft was a fortification he took from them. It used to be an old barbarian castle, but he really? killed the shit out of everyone inside. Like, nah, this is my castle now, motherfuckers. <laughs> How very well, I, I think it wasn't sick. necessarily a full castle. It was like a fortress, but he built on it or ah. something. Um, Let me come back to see if you will. That's pretty cool. Uh, we forgot about Bluto again. Sure. Whatever. You forget about Bluto. <laughs> Did we want to be bothering with him at this point? Yes. All the towns yes. and yes. the Because he doesn't meet, he can't get away with what he's on. He tried to murder a child to play too. Boy, did he. Yes, but we're not going back to Barovia again. Yeah, but he might get let go if he tells someone, oh, I tr tried to murder a Vistani, and he's like, oh, that's okay. It certainly was going to work on the mayor, except for the fact that we specifically hounded him into... Not letting him go explicitly, and only because I think we told him in part it's who had him under arrest or whatever. Yeah. Was well, it is possible on the flip side? Uh, Bluto proves uh, barely coherent at best, so it is uh, just as likely someone will ask him what's up, and he'll murmur and mumble. It's a coin flip. Uh, I have forgotten how you generally walk, so if you get like... Uh, if we're on horses, then... Well, okay, so these two are on one horse, and we are on another horse, and they on... The weird part where three things can occupy the same space. Yeah. Well, they, you know, they technically... Horses are large creatures, so they technically take up two spaces oh. anyways. Huh. So it's only two things. Sure. Yeah, no, they're, they're large. They, you yeah. can't ride you on can't something. You can't ride a medium-sized thing if you need to. In the same way that I couldn't hop on David's shoulders and be like, you know, I'm going to expect him to change this to death. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I can't hop on Jeff's shoulders and be like, Hi-ho, Simba! Away! I realized how that was good, so... <laughs> Oh, I have 
initiative. Wait, um, four. Do you so have six again. Uh, four tents left. Because they uh, nice. I was using it wrong. I don't think you see what they roll. I just decide it before they even roll. I think you even can like, correct it. Oh, oh, okay. okay. And cool. I just forgot. Yeah. Good, good uh, go. What did you get? I got a six because I rolled the same thing on the initiative that I did uh, earlier. And what about grandma? So I think consistency is key. I actually kind of like to roll better. Uh, what about crap? I got a 23 because of Ranger. And what about Zero? Thanks Maybe. for Vise Ranger. Hmm? Vise Ranger on some more initiative talks and save these you guys. Oh, yeah, actually. Right. They don't take you by surprise. So, for simplicity of like putting yourselves in spaces, I'm ah. actually going to say like you had a chance to dismount if you wanted to. Want Maybe to some people I don't want have to stay on their horses, but like so I would probably hop off. But if crack can fight from a horse, you, you can fight from a horse without them in combat. Yeah, hmm. I did. I had no. I mean, I'm going to get off anyway in case the, I don't want to get knocked prone in case the horse gets killed or something. That's my reasoning why I probably hop off. Although I'm gonna have my own personal magic horse as soon as we level again. Fine, Steve. Yeah, Irina looks to oh, everybody really? else. Yes. Uh, begins to get off, but Isaac kind of gets off first and prepares. Prepares. He said, you are like, correct. Where the hell is you here? Oh God, they turned him. He's clearly always been here. To figure out where the fuck. Oh yeah, he might <laughs> turn up in Rectavio's room or some shit. I don't think he's that dumb. I don't think he's that dumb to hide him in his room. No, Rattavio is probably as smart as me and Strahd. Yeah. I'm guessing he and Strahd also have 20 intelligence. But you, that's you, just a guess. You've been in his room, and you know that he's not in his room. Right, he probably has some stash in a warehouse or... Stuff in a pickle barrel somewhere. I'm going to laugh if he's in Blinksies. <laughs> With the monkey. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We go in there, we see him tied up, and the monkey's just poking him. <laughs> You're poking the arm. It is Crack's turn first. Mm. Fucking ruin some guy. Mm. Or just shoot more cute ones. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make me blast? I have you. learned this trick and refuse to use nothing but it. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, to well, be fair, if you could fight the special shooting, shooting. Yeah. by shooting, unless you think you have resistance to physical, technically, your spear will do more damage. It's up to you, Tommy. Do whatever you feel like. Also, I don't want to get hit now with the horse dying, so I'm going to blast. Very well. Which one? Uh, it's 30 feet, I think. 30 or 60. But it doesn't matter, you can hit all of them. Like, like, even if it's 30. There's only the three that we can see. I got 13. Which one? Uh, the fucking Snickers, I guess. Okay. And. 13 is a hit. Okay. Uh, they're probably just covered in mud. Yeah, yeah. so I've got my first one. Uh, we know they're not, since he described them as wearing nothing. Like little bits of cloth. Alright, you said they're covered in squalls, not like roots. Oh, that's great. Scrawlings in mud, though, when they're closer, uh, little, little bits here and there are, are visible. They're not very well armored. So I have to I keep I have to have dex mod a dex mod thing for once, right? Yeah. All right. All crit does is let you roll the damage, I see. Yeah. So four eight. Eight damage on that one because uh and I crit it so Three. You. Yeah, those are the three hours. Um, you blast out twice. If we're gonna start with a team, I might as well fucking just gonna keep one 
I'll do it another one. Don't you, you have advantage, actually, because he hasn't gone? Yeah, right. You're also mounted. Oh, the range is back. Oh, so nice. Uh, uh, that doesn't matter. Oh, that shark goes wide, but the other two cinch him with sun energy quite a sufficient way. This one. One of the barbarians goes. It locks eyes with secret air and then loses itself to rage. Into Sigurd's flesh for 12 damage. Uh-huh. It then becomes Sigurd's turn. Who did you get out of the mission? Dare! 19. Uh, rage. And I'm gonna fucking take some hacks at him. And yeah, I'm gonna attack recklessly. For first attack. You know, if you charge, you rush recklessly. Hmm? A 20. I mean, I guess, yeah. 23 to hit for the first. Well, that is. Because <laughs> it's ready to hit. No, <laughs> there's 23 to hit, so it's 70 hits. Uh, that's. For 11 damage. And. Yeah, still recklessly attacking with the second attack. But I don't think you can say this was recklessly attacking. This was not. Because that seems kind of dumb. Uh, that's a 26 so hit. Yes. And 11 for damage. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah. Rage begins rage as Sigurd packs into this particular barbarian. And hammering horns. Just try and knock him into a tree. Maybe knock him from. Can it actually not be a problem? Because uh, I kind of asked about that last I time. I think you're yeah, like, I'm gonna move them. If they like, are not ten feet and hit something, or is it only so two is people? Five. So, no. Technically, the rules don't say anything about not being a problem. However, in one of my first sessions, you said that you would allow him if not to get into a person or object to not be a problem. I yeah. So what? What that happened? He made his check. So for right now, he's good regardless. Oh, okay. Rooted where he is for the moment. It's now great this time. Um, Chaos Slayers. Yeah, I guess so. I will use my bonus action to pass the lady on my club, and then I'll move up and attempt to smack the uh, dude. Uh, I assume. <laughs> move up. I'm attacking the snake here. <laughs> I, uh, I got, a, I got a crit too, so. Alright. Mm. Also, I'm surrounded, and if he attacks me, he'll have advantage to attack the rest. Okay. Actually, you should have advantage because he attacked recklessly. Uh, 13, so 13 damage. It's alright. It's magic damage. Also, it's two big angry people punching each other. Twenty-eight to hit. Not really, but so it's kind of unnecessary. Grayla moves forward and bludgeons the barbarian quite effectively. Hmm. Despite the bone-crunching ferocity with which it was attacked, it 
progresses nonetheless. And with his roughly human sword connects. Dealing fifteen damage. It then becomes Sasha's turn. I assume the group of their weapons are both hands. Right. Crazy. Like, yes. For versatility. Yeah. Yeah. Just so right. draw his one, which is like another block. He's going to point him at this one. See, so he counts the That's it. Nice it. And as he does so, that one needs to roll a DC 16 wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed. As I'm casting hold for Uh. He is sufficiently paralyzed. His body drained him. Dark that's right. And when it attacks him, we'll deal critical damage on that. So, his body can later. I don't know if he's going to kill him. Most surprised that we're blowing there. I got six. Mm-hmm. That's, that's crazy. I have to remember the advantage on Death's saving throws. Ismark moves in and slashes at the barbarian, but uh, swings a little crooked. Does have advantage, I should know, because he's paralyzed. If not, not only anyone who attacks him physically has advantage, and if their attack hits, it's an automatic critical. Well, I, I remember, I, I heard that. Sorry, part. I was just. Uh, unfortunately, he still swings a little wide. Really? That's great. Jesus Christ, what is he? Irina dismounts. Moves forward and thrusts her blade into the barbarian's chest before withdrawing him, leaving quite a lot of blood in its wake. Now, uh, is this barbarian's turn? He gets, like I say, at the end of his turns, yeah. I believe so. I, I looked it up on the sly when, uh, when I was, you were about to be a target of it. Yeah, at the end of its turn, it's all of us have the dark so. so, which means it still loses that turn, but if yeah. it makes this save, it breaks out. But no. That's <laughs> against 16? 16. Listen. So if you weren't sure, you'd be on your board. He successfully pleased himself. Fuck, ah, really? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, well, if you find some some new twist, then I'm willing to retroactively do whatever I need to do. What is Crack's turn? Right now. Thirteen. Uh, it's uh, the one you were previously. Yeah. <clears throat> and 15 hits. Uh, 6 damage. Uh, 17. That is also hit. Uh, 8 damage. That's it. Uh, five damage. Okay, I'm gonna keep 
He is burned again and again by the radiant energy of the sun, and is beginning to look worse for wear, though by the look on his face, you couldn't tell that he knew it. The barbarian currently in melee with Sigurder continues meleeing with Sigurder. And once again, it successfully attacks, taking more flesh, blood. This one should not hurt too much. Do you need an age? And fifteen more health. I'm not, so I'm, less. I'm not reducing these. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I figure, figure you are. Well, the the first hit shot me for four because I didn't range, so eight. So some brown stuff. Right. It then becomes the Sigurder's turn. Okay. So I can tell that he attacked recklessly. Yeah. Like he leaves himself open and stuff. Right. Yeah. Then I will damage and not attack recklessly and just hit normal. Whoa. 19? To hit for the first one? Yeah. And yep. the second one. Nice. Uh, 14 to hit? Which that is, is also hit. Okay. Uh, 12 and 12. I mean, if they're rage two, they're going to take half damage. Whatever. Yeah, I'm very, and he got to go first. I'll gray that and then his turn should not be affected by the rage. Cameron Horns again? Okay. Realistic air type of in which case the cracks with Greylish shouldn't be affected at all. Because it's not just physical damages by anything. Once again, he cannot be so easily manhandled. Though he is ripped and ripped again by your cool headed play when you place this out. It then becomes Greyless turn. Uh, I'll cast Spirit. Control weapon as my bonus action to make an attack for him. Uh, what do I want to do? Sure. Uh, 26 to hit for the, for the spiritual weapon. Uh, and 13 damage for its attack. And then I'm going to try and hit him with my uh, club uh, as well. Spiritual weapons uh, targeting okay. the one next to me. And that was 15 damage, you said? 13. 13. Uh, you should have mentioned, did he attack recklessly to Grayla as well? He did. I did I'm sorry about that. I rolled a 20 in the melee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and for my attack, it is um, 9, and it's magical. The spear does force damage. Okay. The spear rips through his muddied flesh as Grela assaults him herself. Your blow takes it down. Okay. It passes that one's turn and then becomes Sasha's turn again. Uh, Samtis. Oh god. Imperial. Because I will fire three flash missiles at this guy. He wildly assaults his mark. His mark is really a cool badass. I'm pretty sure he has enough health to circumvent me. Pretty sure. 
No, if he does. Ismark takes a savage blow to his lower midsection. Blood pools beneath his clothing and vile armor. Got a little too close. He then attempts <laughs> to return the favor. I'm gonna roll her as well. Succeeding for damage that I'm going to roll in a minute. Irina also makes a slash, which is also successful. Slashed from the front and from the side, further wounded. It then becomes Crack's turn again. Let's see them all. Very well. Are you sure? Use the one and one. Nine. Out his blast of energy, army of her. My last key point. Uh, well, I assume that hits with a 13 base, but I got a 20 to hit. Yeah, that's it. Um, 8 damage. This barbarian is badly burned, still standing on his feet, but not for much longer. Having taken many attacks upon these guys, it seems that 13 or higher will do it. The same cannot be said of yourselves, or so this next barbarian will have me not. 13 definitely gets here. This time, throwing caution to the wind fails him as this barbarian takes another axe swing. Sigurd's neck slopes too far upwards. It is a miss. I'm dying! It then becomes Sigurd's turn, and Grela will follow. Back and slash, back and slash. Crit for the first one. For the Crit for the second attack. First blow forces him to kneel, second to die. As Axeman, welcome to die. This barbarian is dispatched. Then I will immediately move over to this guy just to move closer. I mean, there's all the movement. There's tree there. Tree? No. I hear him by the way. I'm going to go with fireball. Move here if you have enough to move through his mark because he is out. Yes. I shall do so. Okay. Get it out of there. So he's gonna stop. Yeah. You killed him. Or knocked him out. Realist turn. Oh, um, 
let's see. That's all. She's all blocked up now. Uh. And my spear can only be like 20 feet, I think. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, I'll just Sacred Flame him. He makes a save against DC 16 Dexterity or takes uh, 2d8. Uh, unfortunately, he saves. Uh, well, then you take no damage and you bubble. <laughs> Although he <laughs> takes no, he gets one benefit from the combat. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, he's a little too nimble on his feet. Rayla, it's now Sasha's turn. <laughs> Sahar is going to give the help action. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you said 13 hits? Yes. Oh, I got a 60. Uh, with that 16, I will. Oh, the fireball. Certus. Volca. Imperial. Is that fire fireball from the my wand dealer? Three damage. Damage has gone up. Correct. Up to three. Woo! Better than one. Fuck oh, yeah. Sasha incants. Sasha throws. Barbarian is scorched. A little bit. I can't do shit for damage. Only slightly daunted. Barbarian. Kills is Mark. <laughs> Attacks is Mark. Fortunately or unfortunately, missing. Is Mark and our then take their shots. Is Mark dealing a decent cut to the barbarian's face, further harming it, and Irina managing to thrust her blade into its sternum, causing the barbarian to die. Woo! The second kill. The second. They've been dispatched. And, sorry, what'd you say? I said it for a second kill. It's true. The brother stole my system. Find the space along this side of the mountain and take a shot at them. Bring them. Oh. Oh, man. What do the barbarians have on them? <laughs> Probably long swords. <laughs> no, axes. A great sword and two great axes. Right. Let me double check. It'd be silly to just assume they have nothing on them. Uh, question. Irina and Ismark don't use shields, do they? Or they don't have shields, it looks like? Uh, if asked, Ismark says, I, I attempted to learn how to properly use a shield, but I, I was not able to learn effectively mm. before leaving. And he uses a longsword in two hands? He's been using it one-handed so far. Oh. And Irina says, I'm, I don't. Because I was saying, if, if he was using a long sword and two-handed, you should just straight up create the great sword, right? Between the six. Yeah, maybe not if he has proficiency to it, he should. Uh, that's the only thing yeah, you can't, can't forget proficiency. Just because you can use long sword. Mm. <laughs> it's, oh, it's not entirely beyond my power. Perhaps. Well, that was the one that's getting arcane with spells. I'm just saying, unless he specifically has a dueling, there's no reason for him to let him the long sword when he has a great sword available. Mm. Really? What do you mean if he doesn't have the proficiency? Aren't they two different uh, weapon categories? No, they're no, both martial, both martial arts. arts. Oh. Maybe I should have taken a great sword instead of a long sword. 
No. Like they have these shields. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that was my reasoning for grabbing the longsword. Right. Mm-hmm. It would have been a shield. Then one of them has a pouch with two half dead birds inside. <laughs> That's not useful, David. Uh uh. Spooked. I'll bury the birds. <laughs> Uh, you Not also you issues. also find a, a bloody like knife in the same pouch, so it's it's likely this was their this was their who, rations. Who who, uh, who looks through the, the bodies and finds it? Does a knife count as a dagger? You were asking, so I'm going to say Grayla. Okay. What and do you got there, Grayla? Two dead birds and a knife. You're supposed to go a knife. No, no. So I can be like no. <laughs> What does that mean? Where where yeah. the mall asks the king, what do you got there? The king goes, a knife! As he starts running at you, he goes, no! There was one somebody did. You've Fallout. never seen that? Yeah. There was one for Fallout that somebody did where their character is like, Sean, what do you have? A knife! It holds up the, the blade. The uh, I've seen it uh, in blind God. compilations. Yeah. It's, 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 it's good shit. Crest too. He's only Crest oh, too. Angry. Oh. Yeah, but assuming everyone's cool with stopping off the road for side of it. For a uh, short rest, they are. Is this not going to take that great sword? <laughs> uh, he takes it for the moment. Okay. He's pondering it. So, and then two great axes, basically. Okay, once we step off the side, I will say, we did not speak of it, but I'm sorry for how we. Irina is is mournfully silent. Ismark does take a, a moment from contemplating the the great sort of like lowers it as gently as he can, but it like partially slips out of his hand, which is like a little close to the ground. So uh, like, yeah. Do we have <laughs> proficiency or not? Well, his strength might be on the lower side. Yes, it was awful. You would think living in a land like this, you would be used to bloodshed, but I... It was horrible, and I'm not... I'm not certain it was right. Perhaps coming from leadership myself colors my judgment, but I don't think it would wi- I don't think it was wise to slay the Baron. It was either us or the people. <laughs> so it was either us or his people to do him in. I believe they would have gone the route he has gone with them. But perhaps something could have been done. Perhaps the villagers could have been pacified somehow. You saw the look in their eyes. Similar to these men. And that clouds men's judgment. That is too far. They were not barbarians. This is different. Rage begets rage. And the Baron... Well, I do not know if I would have killed the Baron, but I did not hold anything against Sigurd. We have not been at the line. We do not know the extent of what horrors he has wrought upon them. Trapping people, leaving people to die in the socks. I have a belief that sooner or later this will happen. Once it was seen just how useless those those festivals were to keep them strung out of their town. But that us sad, causing it makes it different. I don't believe we caused it. The Baron's <laughs> blood is on our hands. Oh, I do not believe that we summoned that came. Yeah. I highly doubt an illusion can call monsters. When mm-hmm. we're talking about the killing of the Baron and how so many other it. people died afterwards. I thought he was talking about the vampires. No, that no, no. Oh, the about you killing the Baron. Okay. Explicitly said the Baron's blood is oh. on our hands. Boys. We hidden some of the vampires. Sorry, I Mi- misunderstood. Paul, you probably going to say a decision was made. I can't say that I 
might not have done it. What he has done to his people is wrong. Were there a way of making him step down without killing him, that might have been a wiser choice, but the choice is made regardless. As for Lady Watcher, she was a servant of Strahd. Well, I take no issue with that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck her. I thought he was mad with both of us. He just had a cigarette. I'm like, yeah. Same character. Uh, <laughs> no part. Well, he is he he is mad at all character. of you because all of you contributed to the situation, I and he also feels that oh, you okay. did go for the not you, Crash Arms. Yeah, 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 you're cool. You, However, you did, oh, as, as, as he elaborates, any servant of Strahd is an enemy of my sister enemy of any good person in this land. While execution may have been a bit brutal, I well, I cannot see it ending any other way for one who sides with evil. Well, pretend we may be able to see or be allowed back into the city once we deal with this wizard of wines, which seems to be having a problem with their flow. The thirst in those people's eyes became apparent when it was brought up by the Baron. They are not alone. Wine is a great source of hope to many people of the land. There were similar problems, though not as severe, in Barovia as well. Hmm. They couldn't really do anything about it at the time, given, hmm. given the scope. They've handled their own shipments for quite some time, and... I even fear to say this aloud, but if something has happened to them, it may be more grave than a simple delay. Hmm. Hmm. It's no use talking about it. Let us go see how we can help them. Hmm. Does when we move like to, um, hmm. to take the rest, I'm going to uh, call it. She comes, I, I guess. I'll say. Mercedes. Or did she give the scissors? Or am I holding the scissors? I don't know if she still had it with the clothing. She goes, oh. Right. She hands it. Oh, uh, then you're going to drop the thing on the, on Isaac's horse? Oh, yeah. no. That's part of it. No, that's part of it. Turns. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Or actually, he asks her, oh, what's going on? And Irina says, it's a disguise. It helps with befuddling our enemies. Is there anybody else like Isaac? Yes, disguise. What kind of disguise? Shortening of hair, changing of color, changing of clothes. If you think it will help. Hopefully it will stop any other stuff. And uh, I'm so before. Um, kind of check that to me. So I have a question. What kind of check would that be? I mean, Sasha's going to do it regardless. I just want to know so I know what I'm adding. Is that like for the two? I'm disguise? going to take over uh, Sahara's. Well, if it's disguise, then it's an intelligence check. In which case, I'd be the best person. That seems like the closest to me. All right, cool. You're technically. Uh, you are disguising her. Um, but I'm going to try to, you know, make it not look horrible or anything. Um, and when I take Sahar's senses, the first thing Sasha is going to do is, uh, like, when he pulls back her hair to start grabbing. Does she have bite marks on her neck? Uh, looking? No. No. Why would you think she did? Strong and special. Strong and special? He can be... A oh, vampire really? can like charm someone by looking at him. He could easily be able to bite someone and fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, well, I, I thought maybe he had been her once before because it takes multiple bites. Does it? Yeah, that's specifically what I was checking for is how many bites. Huh. Well, I mean, okay. It can take multiple bites. I was just curious if she had been bitten before. Uh, and that's you part questioning of me before. now is made me suspicious. Hmm? He said, lashing out at those around him. So <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? What? What did he say? I'm pretty sure they're hunting. Apologies. 
it's, it's fine. It's fine if they're not. I was, I was just, I would just want to check. I don't know why that. I don't know why it sounds weird to me that it like takes multiple bites for D and D. I don't know why. I guess maybe like save stuff. Well, it can take multiple bites. Hmm. Uh no. Okay. Uh, I got a twenty-four. shorter and uh, use the uh, and what's called press digitation to change its color to black I guess well okay. I'll ask it uh, black that's fine okay. animate the server and make the scissors Burr! 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 Scissors! Ah, uh, that would be kind of weird. It could have, but taking more active hand in this is probably yeah. the best. Yeah. No, I was just... That just seems funny to me. Um, while that's going on, uh, Roger, which earlier discussion begs the question, what is your plan once we are finished? Are you to go back to Barovia and attempt to sway the people to be the Bagel Map? Bleh. Virgo Master. He turns away from what uh, Sasha and Irina are doing and says, Yes, should Strahd be defeated, I will leave the town as I had before, or briefly before meeting with you. What are your plans? Home. But it cannot be done until he is slain, and I get back to his mind. Uh, right. Something has been taken from you. It's a great importance to me. Luckily, only material. I can't imagine what would happen if he succeeded in taking my sister from me. Well, I believe if it came to that, none of us would have to worry about it at that point. Because we'd all probably be dead. I suppose so. You were able to disguise. You were able to rest. You were able to continue along your way. Perhaps somewhat appropriately, it starts to rain. Uh, hit that. Um, I'm going to be spending one. I'm gonna pull, like, with the last. I'm gonna pull, and, uh, like, like a lock, and I'm going to say, If it is okay with you, then I'm going to keep this. There is a spell that will allow me to use it to define where you are, should it start taking from us. But only with your permission. Okay. It is a little strange, but no stranger than other things I've heard about magic, I suppose. Then would you need some from the rest of us as well? Um, <laughs> I was out of character for some reason. Funny to me, but it's all of a sudden there's something you've thrown out there. Sure. I suppose I cannot be too careful. Although I'm not sure why Star would take you specifically. Something may happen, one of us may get lost or taken, led into the forest. I suppose that is fair. No. <laughs> I'm doing my own. You never brought it up! Just... I'm great looking to see your hair. Yeah. Yeah. I need it for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep her hair. After... After an exchange of hair or not hair, depending on who wants to opt out on this. You advance further. The rain continues. Once we can see the Witches of the Wise, 
like in the distance, so we're only like less than an hour away, I will then cast time uncertainty. Well, there doesn't come a point where you see the vineyard exactly. Oh, well. At least not first. What first of importance happens is that uh, there's a, a ridge, a hill, actually, that you are descending gradually down, and then there's a parting of trees that reveal a mist-shrouded meadow. The trail that you're on splits, one branch heading west into the valley, and another leading south into dark woods. The wooden signpost at the intersection points west and reads vineyard. Hmm. Would there be a check or anything to check to see if this thing's been turned? <laughs> you said this is some Looney Tune shit? I guess investigate. Hey, you never know. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. Right. They were ridiculous. Yeah, just 17? <laughs> yes, yeah, Strahd just ran up the road and was like, that would be very weird. Barbarian camp, lead them to an ambush. Okay. Uh, as far as you can tell, the sign has not been turned. That's old? Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. A light rain continues to fall. Unpainted fences blindly follow the trail, which skirts north a sprawling vineyard or bending south towards a stately nova. The fog takes on ghostly forms as it swirls between the neatly tended rows of grapevines. Here and there, you see rope-handled half-barrels, likely used for hauling grapes. North of the trail is a large stand of trees. You can easily spot a man wearing a dark cloak and cowl that stands on the edge of the tree. And, as you continue forward, the man seems to spot the group and beckons you over. Did you do it as, you know, no, sir, I mean, ready to throw down, but you know us. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, it is hard to follow your lead. As you uh, uh, move over, once you get within range, the hooded figure says, ah, Thank the morning lord. I was afraid that he might not stop. One might argue it's not wise to do so in these lands for a stranger, but I say if you have a soul, you stop when you need to. <laughs> All I think to just throw out here, <laughs> but okay. Tell me, uh, you, uh, you, you are traveling towards the vineyard, yes? Yes, we are. Do you know what has happened there? I do indeed. I'm one of the ones who owns it. Yeah. And the hood figure that brings down their, their hood. It's not like a reveal you haven't met this person, <laughs> but, uh... It's straw bombs. It's a <laughs> yeah, That'd be cool. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everywhere. I own everything, idiot. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm cutting Irina's hair, flip around. It's straw. <laughs> I'm cutting. I'm cutting I love her what hair. you've done with it. How is this happening? I'm sure you could. But, uh, <laughs> uh, after removing his God, hood, that'd be so fun. Just do uh, that, people. Revealing like a dark haired, handsome looking uh, young man. Maybe like vaguely familiar to uh, a couple of you. Like you just get kind of that feeling. Nice as. Can I maybe roll hint to remember? Sure. Who you say? Like? Actually, no. I want perception. But is it remembering stuff? Yeah. No. Actually, it is fine. Okay. 
Same. I mean, if it looks familiar to me, uh, I'm not one of the people. 23. I'm guessing I'm not. Almost kind of a you waste should. of a roll, but really? I, got, I, got oh, a, okay. I got a 23. Oh, my age check to remember who this, or who he reminds me of. As he begins to explain uh, the plight of the vineyard, you think about it and you place it. He actually bears, it's not a huge resemblance, but he bears like a little bit of resemblance to the uh, to the innkeeper. Right. Like, the innkeeper's obviously older, but right. like, kind of, maybe a little, maybe oh, a like little. Maybe they're related. This might be his older son because the, the young one said he had an older brother. As uh, he explains, no, he was I, I and my family run this vineyard, but it has been overtaken by uh, it's been overtaken by a number of druids and horrible, twisted creatures of, of twig and dirt. Okay, no, druids. Sure, uh... Yes. But I feel they do not act in their own uh, mm. interest. I feel that uh, a terrible witch has ordered them to do this. If only because this is not the first time that we have been under attack. Witch. Witches. Oh, perception. Witch! Roll perception of what? Can you say Uh, sure, if you want. We'll say druids sent by witches. Yes. This is very odd. Why? Witches are an odd thing. Their magics call for weird or odd. I believe it is. Uh, I believe it is because we are not as loyal to the devil as perhaps uh, some would like us to be. Well, that is all I needed to hear. Let us go and save your family. Oh, uh, my family do not so much need saving. And then. From from like behind him, like eight people of like varying sizes like emerge that are also fucking and and whatever. They're literally just going out of the woods. He says, <laughs> "We were able to escape, but they have completely overtaken the winery. Yeah. We've not been able to produce or, or ship wine for quite some time, but there is still some around if they haven't gotten to it yet." Fine, then let us go save your wine. Even though that sounds because way less cool, but I, I, I would actually like to roll insight now to see if he's telling the whole truth because that just fucking sent off some fucking receptors. Yeah, sure, they're just. I believe him completely. It's dark. It's rainy. You think on the very fringe of your sight, you can see stuff moving like near the vineyard. So something's out there. Well. Uh, you get the feeling that he just wants to share and share openly with you guys. Alright. Yes, uh, after I say we will go and save your life, I will, um, how far away is the vineyard from me? Not very far, just a week away. Alright, well then, uh, I'll pass the penny sermon. You will be able to prepare, and perhaps some introductions will be made, but that will happen next time. I would just cast two tiny servants, but with druids of that, I should probably keep one counter spell. Because I got my, I got the third level slot I used in the first fight back during the short rest. I used arcane recovery to pop that back. Hey, it makes sense. I am artist oh, Jesus. I got way ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Do that again. <laughs> I am Artist David Harper on Instagram and Twitter. I also have a coffee or a Ko-Fi where I post artwork occasionally and links to videos of me yelling at fictional characters. Please send money. Everybody else? Use this I'm Mario Vilas. Uh, normally the illustrious Dungeon Master, not today. Uh, I have, obviously, you should check us out at Lights Camera Initiative on Twitter where I speak for everyone here but David. Uh, additionally, coming Thursdays, uh, you'll be able to see me both on the Greyhawk channel at 2.30, or, at 1.30, uh, PST, and you can also catch me at 5 PST on the new Tainted Lands stream. It's going to be the Tainted Lands in the North, so it's 
hmm. colder and perhaps more tainted than ever before. I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't started yet. But uh, yeah, ca- catch me on that. It'd be cool. Um, also, eat the rich. Eat the rich. Uh, I don't really have anything to say other than I think some evil druid ass has been pervert nature to do Strahd's bidding. But that's next time. Also. Also, eat the rich. Thank you. <laughs> but mainly, Freyla cares about the perversion of nature. Uh, and then she'll eat some elves. All I gotta say is we finally got some fucking money in this fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is true. <laughs> Next time, curse of Strahd all month. We don't need money, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just a whole squad of a <laughs> full month. Just run a frown and key blast everything to death. That- <laughs> well, that is one solution. We call ourselves the Z Fighters. Or no, the S Fighters. What's the S for now? Strawn. We're fighting Strawn. Uh, oh my right. god, that is hilarious. Uh, nothing much, just, yeah. Keep being excellent to yourselves and everyone. And, and yeah, apparently the race is against hippies. Remember that. Hippie are a race. Hippies are a race. I am bigoted ah. against hippies as well. Well, alright. I'm also not one of them. There with that, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.